Leading Together Dialogues is a project, a collaboration between five universities, four universities in India and the University of Melbourne. And once a year we bring together students from the four universities in India and some academics from the University of Melbourne visit and for us it's an opportunity to understand a different cultural approach to education and to share knowledge between the universities and with ourselves. Every year the topic's different and this year we came to Nagaland to Tetso College and Tetso decided on the theme Indigenous Knowledge and Sustainability and it made perfect sense here in Nagaland for them to choose that theme. It's been an extraordinary experience to be here in Nagaland. It's something that we started talking about last year. I thought it was just a fantasy. Uh, we have arrived here. It's, uh, we've seen enormous hospitality from Tetso. We've heard so much about the culture and the art of um, Nagaland. And we've also appreciated the importance of education for the students both here at Tetso College and also for Nagaland's future in terms of its economic development. The Leading Together 2023 is an international conference here at Tetso College and I'm one of the organizers from the University of Melbourne. And I feel that such conversations, dialogues are so important to bring us together to focus and to reflect on indigenous cultures, indigenous value systems and indigenous knowledge. I want to emphasize one thing that the recent climate change report that came out has very few indigenous voices and voices of indigenous scholars. At a time when we are facing climate emergency and also issues that are coming up with our own value systems, it's important to highlight and focus what education can do for us and for our people. The second exceptional thing about Leading Together 2023 being held here in Dimapur, Nagaland, is the fact that we need to show the world as a state that we are able to have really deep and meaningful conversations, that indigenous voices matter to address global concerns, to address philosophy, education. The third important distinction about the Leading Together Dialogue is that it is focused on undergraduate students. As one of the deputy associate deans who envisioned Leading Together concept at the University of Melbourne, we had to also try hard and convince our own colleagues at the University of Melbourne to emphasize why undergraduate communities are important, why they are the future leaders, thinkers, researchers. As a scholar, I've go to many conferences around both international, national, and here within the Northeast region of India. But these conferences are focused either around faculty members who are established scholars or PhD students. We hardly hear of conferences that highlight and center undergraduate students. We regard them as children, almost infantilize them as people without any ideas, as people without voices. But during a time when we have young leaders emerging, where their concerns matter, I felt that as established scholars envisioning uh, an India engagement program at the University of Melbourne, it was time that we focus on something that is relevant for the undergraduate communities here in India and also connected with Australia. An important theme that came up for Leading Together initiative was to actually focus on diversity. It means gender, it means uh, bringing many voices, and there one of the important themes was to focus on indigenous sustainability and shared future. The Leading Together initiative is also connected with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I feel that Nagaland is very much part of it. I feel that Naga students, policymakers, and uh, educators are very much aware of what's happening uh, around the world with the Sustainable Development Goals. So these are some of the themes that we were trying to make it here uh, work within, within this conference. I'm Anjan K. Behera, uh, convener of this international conference, and I'm also the acting dean of Tetsu College. Now, this international conference is a collaboration with the University of Melbourne, 
and it is partnering with four leading organizations, educational institutions uh, in India. That's the college is one of them. So these are the institutions we have partnered with, and this is a two-day international conference, and uh, events or sub-events, as we'd like to call it, are divided into two categories. Some events are open for all, and we encourage everyone to be a part of this. These are panel discussions. So we've had a panel discussion in the morning today, and we have one scheduled tomorrow at 3, and we have some other events like book signings, book discussions. And apart from this, cultural evenings are also an, a part of this conference and once and both days 28 and 29 we have cultural performances from all the four participating institutions and tomorrow also we have another set of cultural performances by students of these participating institutions at around 5 30 and we are also very glad to inform that we've had some schools and external colleges who are not a part of this conference but who are from this district Dimapur who have also come and they're taking part in this cultural cultural uh, cultural evening and apart from this, we have workshops as well. We wrapped up one workshop already on indigenous biodiversity and sustainability uh, that was done for the delegates only. So we have 24 delegate students who are selected from these institutions to attend these particular specific you know, sessions. So this is like in rough the, it's the whole, the whole you know, uh, this layout of the conference. The conference is also being telecasted live on our YouTube channel. So for those of you who are unable to come, you can go to the YouTube channel of the college, that's a college, and watch the, watch the conference events uh, live. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I feel so privileged and uh, to come here, Nagaland, is a new experience for me. It's the first time I'm coming to Nagaland to attend um, international conferences and uh, sign a MOU with um, uh, Melbourne University and uh, Texter University is uh, it's something very great for us. And it, I'm also uh, waiting to have a, a greater programs to exchange in program with both the universities. So I feel very great. And uh, it's a, I feel that the indigenous people are uh, retained their originality uh, in um, Nahaland. Uh, we, we are five people from Stalamaris faculty, one of our faculty, Dr. Lakshmi Priya, and four other students uh, came along with me. And our students will be pro performing their cultural programs tomorrow. It is a different experiences from Chennai to Nagaland and it's also I am enjoying the stay over here. I was enriched by their sharings. Thank you. I've been having a wonderful time uh, at this event today here at Tetso College. Uh, it's been immensely important for us to dialogue uh, with other organizations such as Melbourne University uh, and the other organizers involved. Um, I think only when we dialogue with others and we discover others, we discover something about ourselves. Uh, and when we're talking about leading into our futures, uh, our path of self-determination, uh, it's really important that we know who we are uh, and where we came from. Um, and it is through these types of dialogues uh, that we discover those things. Uh, we've had a very challenging past uh, as an indigenous community. Uh, we have a long history and a wisdom that goes back to time memorial that we struggle to tap into because of loss of a generation, if not two, uh, due to conflict here, uh, due to invasion. Uh, and so to be able to enter into dialogue and start unpacking those things and rediscover the age-old wisdom, I think is of tremendous value to our communities, whether it's an entrepreneur like myself, whether you're an academic, whether you're a business person, whether you're teaching, or whether you're in government, uh, only through knowing ourselves uh, can we move forward and move into the emerging world. Uh, so it's been a fantastic day uh, and an absolute pleasure to be here.